But just before that, uh, the Department of Correctional Services has launched an art gallery at its old prison, which has been converted into a museum here in Clegstop in the northwest. The gallery is aimed at optimizing the potential of young people, including parolees and probationers. But just before we chat to the Department of Correctional Services, let's take a look at this report compiled by Zebulon Maine. The art gallery is housed in one of the first correctional centers in Tlegstop. The town was established in 1837 and is the oldest in the province. It derives its name from the first local magistrate, Jacob de Tleg. The correctional center with 15 cells was built in 1890. It used to hold both black, white and colored inmates. Some of the cells depicts inmates' clothes and how they lived. In 1973, the old correctional center was converted into a museum. It was now being renovated into an art gallery. It now houses the artistic work of inmates and parolees. The art gallery has become the heritage legacy of the country's struggle history. Some of the country's struggle icons, such as Emeritus Archbishop Desmond Tutu, have a pride of place in the gallery. Others include Mafana Majova, Tumelo Lekoto, Casey Cindy, and Deleki Lekoza. Already more than 20,000 tourists visit the gallery every year. People come for different reasons here, but most people really come for educational purposes because they want to know what really re this museum represents. 35-year-old Tumelo Siamani is the Correctional Center's lowest inmate. He also contributes his artistic work to the gallery. Siaman is currently serving a five-year jail term for a housebreaking he committed four years ago. But his dream is to have his own art gallery where he can educate young people about the arts. I'm intending to open up something small just to invite everybody with no cost, of course. Just to keep them busy in a, in a, in a way that they would find themselves spending more time with me than in the streets. Most of the inmates appreciate the government intervention through skills development. Many are happy that the artistic talents they never knew they had have been unearthed through the initiative. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I received to get the skills, but I do not encourage the youth to commit crime for them to get skills. I learned how to knit with my hands. The initiative is part of the Correctional Center's rehabilitation program. As they move out after release, be integrated at the community, they must know what to do outside so that they can get some thing from what they have learned from the Department of, uh, of, Department of Correctional Services. More than two-thirds of young inmates were involved in serious crimes. The initiative will hopefully assist young prisoners not to repeat their crimes. <laughs> Meanwhile, residents of Jobetin Township near Tlexdop have expressed concerns about escalating rate of crime in the area. Recently, they held an anti-crime protest during which they marched to the local police station. In their memorandum, they complained about drug abuse, gangsterism and rape. Other local townships such as Kanana and Kuma have become heavens for gangsters who are terrorizing residents. The scourge has now spread to Jobetin and police seem to be helpless. Tlegsdorp is a mining town in decline. It is now faced with the twin problem of high youth unemployment and crime. The local community policing forum wants awareness campaigns on how to report crime to be intensified. Most, most of the crime that are taking place in this, this area, we've got the robberies, we've got murder, we've got assaults, we've got gangsterism. Those are the crimes that is, is happening mostly here in our, in our area. I have a belief that uh, crime is increasing in Flagstop because uh, usually parents are failing to report their own kids, probably because they are feeling that um, they'll be judged not to be stronger parents as they, they expect themselves to be. We're not sleeping at night. They rob our houses. They, 
they they are, they are harassing our kids out there and we are asking the SAPS to intervene. The police will address everything that has been reported to the police station and we cannot do it alone. We need the community and that's why the community are here today because they are giving us their support. We are going forward with our community to make a change and a stand in Joburg. Police have acknowledged the escalating crime but have promised to address the problem. Even their own who are found on the wrong side of the law are not being spared. Recently, two police reservists have been arrested in the area on allegations of being involved in criminal activities. I am Zebulon Maine, SABC News, Klexdorp. Well, to expand further on the art gallery, joining us now are the members of the Correctional Services. But just before I say that, I, I think it's only fair for me to, to create the inmates here behind me from the Clegstop Correctional Services. They've been with us here since the early hours. As early as 5 o'clock, they were already here embracing this cold. Bahai Sudumela. There you have it. Well, let's talk to the national spokesperson for Correctional Services. Manila Suwalela will also be speaking to uh, Area Coordinator, Development and Care Department of Correctional Services, Mokoka Tsotleho, as well as to Mr. Yamani. You, you saw him on the inside. He is an offender benefiting from this art gallery uh, project. And Tato Walela, let me start with you. Um, tell us about how the project of the art gallery came about. Correctional Services mission in this country is to ensure that we don't only incarcerate offenders, but we also provide opportunities for development to change their lives and to ensure that when they go back, they will not reoffend. So one of the pillars of doing that is introducing arts to be able to contribute to rehabilitation. Currently in the country, we were launching, the Deputy Minister Undate Ntabang Mukwetla launched uh, on the 21st, the third uh, art gallery in South Africa. Mm. So are we which going to see more of those? There are how many? 37 centers in, in South Africa? We are targeting to set it up in 37 centers right across the country because we realize that uh, arts is contributing to the healing of even offenders. When they paint, they express themselves. We are also in the process of finalizing a policy which is going to enable us to sell thousands and thousands of artworks across the country, which is going to help contribute in three ways. One portion is going to go to the community. The other portion is going to go to us for getting inputs uh, into continuing with this artwork, as well as the third one is going to go to the offender who has painted, so that when they go out, they have a kick an amount of money to be able to start their lives successfully outside. And in, the, in South Africa, art is growing in a phenomenal manner. For example, the minister had indicated that uh, about over 90 billion rands is involved and is a contribution to the GDP of the country. And we want offenders to be an integral part of that. When you have painted your work, nobody asks, what is your criminal record before buying your artwork? Mm. People get excited, they buy that artwork. So we are integrating them into the mainstream. But not, not, only not everyone open. loves art. What about those who are not you know, into art? How do you go about rehabilitating them? Quickly. We have different programs for rehabilitating offenders. Some of the programs are focusing on the offending behavior. We have 11 programs that are being implemented throughout the country. But besides that, remember, with the 11 correctional programs, we are dealing with criminogenic factors, factors that individuals are... are, are factors behind individuals committing crime. But besides that, we also have a developmental program, which is about education, training, skills development, construction, plumbing, you name them, all those things. There's a lot of them, I do know. Well, let's, uh, let me bring you Ndate Mokoka into the conversation. The art gallery was launched on the 21st of June, which is just a few days back. But how, how has it been? How has the operation been? Um, um, uh, uh, good morning to the viewers, morning live viewers, and Polesa, thank you. The art gallery has been launched, but uh, what is going to happen from here is a implementation program where all the uh, artwork has been has, has has already been put on the art gallery itself is going to be exhibited, and as the uh, uh, DC Olela has already mentioned that the policy to sell is still a draft in a draft form, but after it's approved. The, all the artwork will then be sold out uh, to all the visitors, the tourists, or even all the other stakeholders. And then some of the 
part of the MOU that was signed with the MO, with the um, Matosana municipality also include the performing arts. The uh, drama is going to be played by uh, inmates there, which is about stories behind bars. Uh, we will later kept, uh, put it in a DVD form that it can co co continuously play at the gallery. Uh, this, as part of the performing arts, that the story is about them, the inmates, telling the nation and whoever is visiting the, the gallery that crime does not pay and how they find themselves in such situations and how they are turning their situation for the better. So as I, I will just mention that the artwork is the inmates at the different centers in the area and the province, they are uh, putting together this art material when it's finished product is, is exhibited. Okay, now tell me the two-thirds of the incarcerated inmates in South Africa, the young people, how is the interest like from, from the inmates, uh, you know, being part of the art gallery? Are they the, so, sorry? Uh, the interest of the young people, is it, are, are you seeing an interest ever since the, the art gallery was launched earlier? There is, there is definite interest. They, they are happy, they are inquiring, they want to find out. And we had a, a quite a rise in the number of those allocated for arts program. It's just that we were not able to absorb them all in the in the skills uh, unit. But we do have other programs that we are, meantime, also uh, allocating them to. Uh, I can just mention briefly that we are also into skills that the local college here, Vuselela, is also coming in into the center. We are going to be finalizing the MOA with them so that these other categories, as you mentioned, they are able to also get the skills training as well in other fields, technical and so on. Right, in that demogogarale boha. To me, ako kenya for you were arrested for house robbery. But let's talk about art. The interest in art has it always been something eating mo we na kapaki something we discover ling how fila echangani. Thank you. I could say that I've always had art in me. It's just that I needed a way of discovering it, and the DCS has given me the platform to do so. Yeah, that's what I can say. Okay, so it's, it's a blessing in disguise in a way yeah, because you, you get to discover. Oh, where's the art to get in? Uh, I do all mediums, your charcoal, pencil, uh, fabric, pastel, oil on canvas. I do everything, basically. Mm. Mm. But uh, how have you done so far ever since the launch of the art gallery? Everything is great. Is I it? can say that. Is it? Do yeah. you have any finished material that can yeah, go I on do. sale now? I do. Is I it? do. Is it? So what are you hoping for? I'm only hoping that this won't end here. It can only give me, bring me better heights. I can only reach better heights through art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In what I, way? What are you looking for? Are you looking at perhaps having your own art gallery? Yeah, one, one day, day I would like to do that. And also help the younger coming generation to keep them from going into, venturing into crimes. If I could say that, and maybe giving them the opportunity that I never got at their age. Okay. Yeah. Problem with the former inmates, key uh, integration back to the society when they go out there. How do you think this will be able to bridge the gap? Eating. Well, it it depends on how they see it, because one person might think it's it's nothing. The other might see it as a step towards the right direction in bringing them into the community. So All right. Okay, no, yeah. good luck. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you very much. We are speaking to the Correctional Services Spokesperson, Manlisi Wolela. We are also speaking to Tsotla Khomogoka, the Area Coordinator, Development and Care from the Department of Correctional Services, as well as Siamani Dumu, who is an offender, benefiting from this project. Well, it's time for our 8 o'clock news bulletin in Johan.